What's up guys, everyone's having a wonderful day. Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys a winger drill that I find will be extremely beneficial if you play as a winger or even as a fullback. So what makes this drill different from any other winger drill that you're going to see is that this drill is going to be working on finishing from multiple different angles. As you guys can see, I have three different cones set up right here. So that's a defender right there. That's a defender right there, and that's a defender. One of the things that I've noticed playing over the years is that when you're playing as a winger, you're going to have to finish cross from so many different angles that it's just not good to just focus and finish from one angle. I recommend that you score and dribble from multiple different angles, and that is exactly what this drill is going to be working on, is that you're going to be dribbling from this angle once you receive it and beating the player and finishing from a very narrow angle. You're going to go more towards the middle, which might give you a little bit more wiggle room to hit it near post and far, and then we have one right at the top of the box. So it's important that you practice finishing from all these different angles so that when it comes to the game, you're accustomed to it. One of the bad things that I used to do is I used to finish from one specific angle and it wasn't a bad thing. It was just that I just got really good at it that whenever I was in the game and I, I beat a player and I was dribbling from a really awkward angle, it almost felt not impossible, but it felt really awkward for me. Since I'm here with Wilson, he's going to be my goalie just to make it a little bit more difficult. And like I said, so you pick the situation. If you want to cut towards the right, which I'd probably recommend you only do that if you go towards this cone right here in the middle and the far left, it's going to be almost impossible to score with your right if you're taking on this defender out wide because of just the angle. So if anyone was watching the Champions League game, Sainan literally took it from super out wide, cut it in, and ripped it near post. And that is what I mean by finish, being able to finish from multiple angles. That was an extremely difficult angle. I don't think he could have scored far post, but the speed that he had that he took it in and him hitting it so quickly just caught the keeper off guard. I hope you guys enjoy these shots. I hope you guys enjoy this drill. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you have it. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Oh, what a save. So as you guys can see, I am doing terrible right now. Cannot score a goal for my life. This angle is so difficult. I'm gonna try to go far post, but we'll see. No, it's okay. Yeah, I think I, I, I'm going to try to go far post. Let's see if I can get it. Service is perfect. Really bad touch, but finish is definitely better. What a ball. Much better in terms of like speed going forward. I really gotta attack that ball. There we go. One pretty decent shot. I want to say I may have two goals. So very so you guys can see like how inconsistent I am at this angle. So I need to really pick it up and do better. But I know the more I practice, the more comfortable I'm gonna get at doing this. All right, guys, so we just finished my weakest angle. Now we're going to move over across 
and do this middle one right here. So it should, it should be a little bit easier. Now I'll have the angle to take it right if I want to. But I think I'm just gonna work on my left today just because I've been having some IT band issues with the running, a lot of the finishing passing I'm doing. It's been irritating a little bit, but hope you guys enjoyed that first terrible round. But we keep on going, you know? Got to get those reps in. That's the only way you're going to get better. Got to get those reps in. Guys, so now we are moving into the middle angle. If you, I was doing this and I didn't have to film this, what I would recommend is that you just randomize each angle. Every time you receive the ball, just try finishing from each different angle. But for this purpose of the video to show you each shot, I'm going to be going from my weakest angle to the middle to, I would say, my probably my strongest. So... It's a, you could do either way, doesn't matter, but I think the randomized one variation might be a little bit better so that you just don't get too accustomed to one. But either way, I think both are gonna be beneficial. So hopefully this round will be a little bit better. I'm not sure if it will. My IT band is starting to flare up just a little bit, making all the excuses, but we're gonna try our best. Super lucky there. Just kind of, I really turned my body to make it look like I was going near. And then when I saw him diving, I was just like, <laughs> I'm tired, Grandpa. guys so now we're going to be moving on to our last angle this is going to be our last set right here and hopefully this will be better than the previous two honestly the middle one i did absolutely terrible but like i said you just got to get those repetitions in and then the more you do it the more comfortable you're going to get and i think i'm just being hard on myself because how i want to complete these shots is dribbling at full speed cutting in quickly or doing a skill move quickly and then getting the shot off as quickly as possible. One of my bad habits that I have, especially finishing with my weaker foot, is I take these small stutter steps. And what I'm trying to do is eliminate those. If I can cut and then plant and finish immediately right after that, that will make me more dangerous. It'll give me more time to shoot and it'll give less time for the keeper to set himself up to be able to read me. It'll, get le it'll give less time for that defender to step in. So these are small little details that I'm really trying to ingrain in myself because I really need to turn those bad habits into good ones. So I'm going to finish off this last round. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and hopefully I can score some, a couple good goals for you guys.